on a would be robber. The man who opened fire says the suspect had a gun and was demanding that he give up his wallet. And Tamika Artis joins us now live from Evanston. That's where those fatal shots were fired. Tamika. Well, the man who pulled the trigger told police that this was an act of self-defense. We can tell you that it happened here on Jonathan Avenue at that house back there with the white awning that you see here behind me. And we can show you some video of police actually surrounding the area not long after those shots were fired. This is shortly after neighbors tell us there was a confrontation of some sort between the alleged gunman and two contractors who were doing some renovations to the house. Captain Russ Neville explains how this all started. There appears to have been two gentlemen who are rehabbing this property on Jonathan. And as one is outside at the van getting some equipment, he's approached by a young African American armed with a gun, um, and he is robbed of his wallet. Well, police say that that is when the other contractor, who they believe has a conceal and carry permit, opened fire on the suspect, shooting and killing him. He was pronounced dead here on the scene. Now, investigators tell us that it is too early to say right now if any charges will be filed in this case. They're still trying to sort through all of the details, and so far, no names are being released. That's the very latest from here in Evanston. I'm Tamika Artist, not on your side.